Hello everyone, this is Yakalpina here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve y times 2xy plus e power x into dx minus e power x dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. y times 2xy plus e power x into dx minus e power x into dy equals to 0. Then, now let's take this term to RHS. Our equation becomes, right, now take this dx to RHS and bring this e power x to LHS. You will get y times 2xy plus e power x by e power x equals to dy by dx. Right. Then, now multiply these two terms with y. You will get 2xy square plus y into e power x by e power x equals to dy by dx. Then, if you notice we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split this expression into two terms. Firstly, we will write this equation as dy by dx equals to 2xy square plus y e power x by e power x. Now we'll split this into two terms. dy by dx equals to 2xy square by e power x plus y e power x by e power x. e power x gets cancelled in the second term of RHS. Now, the reduced equation is dy by dx equals to 2x by e power x into y square plus y. Now, bring this y to LHS. We so get dy by dx minus y equals to 2x by e power x into y square, which is in panelless. We know that Bernoulli's equation dy by dx plus p into y equals to q into y power n, where p and q are either functions of x alone. or constants and here you are having n right which is a real number such that n not equals to 0 not equals to 1 right by comparing these two equations we can say that we have reduced the given equation to but knowledge form again by comparing these two we will get p q and M. Where P equals to minus 1, Q equals to 2xy, e power x. Now compare y square with y power n, you'll get n equals to 2, which is a real number such that not equals to 0 and not equals to 1. Right? Now we will reduce this equation to linear form. So here you are having p equals to minus 1 which is a constant and q equals to 2x by e power x. It involves only x and it does not involve any other variable other than x. So we call q as a function of x alone and p as a constant. We know that 
the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q where p and q are the functions of x alone or constants an integrating factor is given by power integral p dx and general solution is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c right So now we need to reduce this equation to linear form. If you notice in the RHS, the RHS of linear equation will have either a function of x alone or a constant but not a function of y. But here in the Bernoulli's equation we have function of y so this has to be eliminated. So how we can eliminate y square simply by bringing this y square to LHS or by multiplying both sides of the equation with 1 by y square or by dividing both sides of the equation with y square. Okay, so let's see. Now let's bring y square to LHS. I'll write the step directly. 1 by y square into dy by dx minus y by y square equals to 2xy e power x. Okay, we'll show you in detail. We'll get 1 by y squared times the LHS part. dy by dx minus y equals to 2x by e power x. From this, we'll get 1 by y squared into dy by dx minus y by y squared equals to 2x by e power x. This step, right? So, what happens if we multiply both sides of this equation with 1 by y square. Right? y square gets cancelled. Again, you'll get the same equation. Likewise, if you divide, you'll get divided by y square on both sides of the equation. Again, y square gets eliminated and you'll get the same equation. Okay? So now y square got eliminated. Here you are having y by y square. You can split this as y into 1 by y square. We know that 1 by y power n equals to y power minus n. Then you can write 1 by y square as y power minus 2. Now add the powers you will get 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Right? So this equation becomes 1 by y square into dy by dx minus y power minus 1 equals to 2x by e power x. Now, let y inverse be u. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Here we'll use chain rule. du by dx equals to du by, here we are having the function of y, right? So it involves differential dy in between. Now find derivative of u with respect to y. You're having u equals to y inverse, right? Now differentiate on both sides with respect to y. We'll get du by dy equals to derivative of y inverse with respect to y is minus y power minus 1 minus 1. This is equals to minus y power minus 2. Then du by dx equals to derivative of u with respect to y minus y power minus 2 into dy by dx which is equals to minus since y power minus n equals to 1 by y power n then you can write y power minus 2 as reciprocal of y square now 
we are having du by dx equals to minus 1 by y square into dy by dx, right? If you notice, the first term you're having plus 1 by y square into dy by dx. So, we'll make this to plus by multiplying both sides of the equation with minus, then you'll get minus du by dx equals to 1 by y square into dy by dx. Let y inverse equals to u then 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. Okay. Now we'll write the above equation in terms of u and x by replacing this term by minus du by dx. And u inverse by u minus du by dx minus u equals to 2x by e power x. So here in the equation of du by dx, we are having minus 1. We'll make this to plus 1 by multiplying both sides of the equation with minus. Then we'll get du by dx plus u equals to minus 2x by e power x. Which is linear in u. We know that the standard form of linear equation in u and x is du by dx plus p into u equals to q where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants. Right? By comparing these two we can say that we have reduced the given equation in linear form. Now we'll find the general solution by using the linear general solution formula of linear equation in U, which will be the general solution to the given equation. Okay. So now by comparing these two, we'll get P and Q where P equals to 1 and Q equals to minus 2x by e power x. Here P is a constant. See, you can get P as a constant or a function of x alone or Q and also Q as a function of x alone or a constant. Okay, fine. And here Q is a function of x alone because it does not involve any other variable other than x. So now let's find integrating factor. Integrating factor is given by e power integral p dx and the general solution is given by u into integrating factor equals to q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Okay. This e equals to e power integral for p 1 into dx which is e power integral dx e power x. Right. So now we are having integrating factor e power x. Now we can find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Here e power x gets cancelled which equals to integral minus 2x dx plus c minus 2 is a constant so we'll write it outside the integral you'll get minus 2 integral x dx plus c which is equal to minus 2 into x squared by 2 plus c, 2 gets cancelled, now we have u into e power x equals to minus x squared plus c, now I will show you the solution in two ways, okay.
Firstly, you can write this plus C as minus C for our convenience. Okay. Then, u into e power x equals to minus x squared minus a. Since c being constant, you can write it as minus c also. Okay? You can change it according to your convenience. Then, replace u since u equals to y inverse, that is reciprocal of y. Then, you will get e power x by y equals to minus x squared minus c. Then, e power x equals to y times minus x squared minus c. Then you'll get e power x minus equals to minus y x square or x square y minus c y. Now you can bring these two terms to LHS. You'll get e power x plus y x square plus c y equals to 0. Okay. If you want to bring this c, this c to LHS, if you want to bring some plus okay plus c y you'll write plus c as minus c here or just replace you you'll get e power x by y equals to minus x square plus c you can just write this as some c minus x square then e power x equals to y times c minus x square will be the required solution. Okay. Either you can choose this or this. It's up to you. Some people wish to bring the constant to LHS. Some will just go with the flow. So we have seen a problem from the knowledge equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.